Hello YouTubers, this is Fedor. I built a little LED screen circuit, um, uh, LED flasher blinker thing. Um, I'll show you here. Here's the here's a select switch. Here's a up and down. This one's not used, and this one's to go back. So down, down, up. So I would select first. Select LED one is on. Back, down. Select LED two is on. Back, down. Select both LEDs are on. Back, um, down. Oops, good on the fourth. Select LEDs are alternating, and then to fifth. Oh, this switch is a little touchy. Select LEDs alternating, and. Um, I'll show you how to make this. is super, super easy. It's like a menu options, I guess. I like to call it. But here, a little bit about the LED um, display is uh, it's a uh, you know 64 by 128 pixels, but only 63 by 127 are uh, usable. And the first 15, um, this this rectangle here, 15 by 63, is uh, yellow, and the rest of the rect and the rest of the screen is blue. So that's why it looks like that. The top part is yellow and then the bottom part is blue. It's because the screen is divided into two sections and it's two different colors and you can't really change those. It just stays like that. But uh, so you have, you know, 63 down and 127 to the right. This much this many pixels to work with and to display images and words and uh, pictures and stuff like that. It's a very cool little screen. It's a lot better than using matrix LED matrixes because you get a crisper image and better everything. And here, how it's all uh, wired up, it looks a little complicated. Uh, it could be a lot neater. I could, you know, tighten the wires up a little bit, but I don't want to spend too much time. But here's the basic. Uh, yeah, these are all switches. These are digital switches. So whenever the switch is pressed, it uh, low ne negative is uh, pushed out whenever it's uh, whenever it's uh, open it's positive whenever it's closed press down it's negative so it releases negative okay and if you don't have these switches you want to use a regular push button switch or something you have to use a, a pull down re resistor 10k so you you'd hook up positive 5 volts and then the, your push button switch and then 10k resistor to ground and then and then in between the switch and the resistor you'd uh, connect it to pin to whatever pin in this case it'd be pin 5 if it's a select switch this is to the left down to the right up and they're all connected and have two LEDs uh, pin 10 and 11 and they're connected to ground and these don't need, don't need a resistor because Arduinos are pretty pretty uh, LED friendly they don't they don't uh, put out too much current. Okay, and um, and you can use um, Leonardo Uno. Uh, in this case, I use the Nano because I like to use these uh, uh, breadboards, so it's a lot easier to use a smaller Arduino. I could just you know put it into the uh, to the breadboard, and then instead of you know dragging the wires from here and plugging into the breadboard, it, it gets a lot, lot more complicated. But if you're going to use a Leonardo or Uno. Um, the SD, SCL and SDA hook up straight to the SCL and SDA pins over here. You don't need to go to the analog to plug them in. Unlike in the Nano, you have to use a analog pin 4 and analog pin 5 to connect them together. So SDA would go to 4 and SCL would go to A5. And uh, that's kind of what the circuit looks like. Um, Let's see, I'll show you, I'll talk about a little bit, about the, little bit about the code. I have some while loops and switch statements. So what happens is whenever um, whenever I, I select second, or let's say I select first, I have a while loop. While S, uh, whatever, select switch is pressed, it will loop a loop and display LED is on and blink LED 1 forever 
but if back switch is pressed, the right switch, it exits out, exits out the loop and goes back to the original. So here, here's how it looks like on the screen. You have the while select switch is low, which is when when the select switch is pressed, it will it will blink the LED here. It will turn it on. Wait a little bit. Oops, I don't know if you can see that. LED off. Wait a little bit, and then clear the display on the LED screen. Uh, set the text size to two. Then it's uh, picks the color to. Oh, got a little blurry. Okay, picks the color to white. And then set the cursor to zero zero. That's where you want to display the text. I want it to be at the very top of the screen, zero zero. And then display um, your characters. So I want LED one is on. And then display display. And then it displays all this. It loops it back and forth. But if digital read write switch is low, it will break this loop and go back to the go back to the switch statement I have here. So for case one, which is the first, it displays this. But if the switch is pressed, it enters into the while loop and loops forever until digital read write switch is pressed. Then it breaks this while loop and goes back to the case one switch statement. If that all makes sense. And uh, this uh, A is right here. Let's see. So if up is if a switch up is pressed is low, B becomes negative. And uh, if not, B is zero. And if down is pressed, C becomes one. If not, C is zero. And then A is equal to B plus A plus C. So A is just a integer I've made and, and it's equal to one. Okay, so we go back here and it and it starts off with one. So one one plus B, so whatever B is, if it, if if up is not pressed, B is zero. So it'd be a one plus zero plus C. If Z is not pressed, it's zero. So A is equal to one. Since when A is equal to 1, the switch A equals to 1, so it goes to case 1, and it does case 1. But if the select switch is pressed low, it enters the, the while loop, and then loops until the right switch is pressed, and it exits the loop. And then I have a little parameter here. Um, if A is less than 1, so it cannot go up any higher. So A has to be between 1 and 6. So if A is less than 1, A becomes 1. If A is greater than 6, A is 6. So I have these here six options uh, for switch statements. And here they are. I have first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. So if I go down anymore, it won't let me. And if I go up all the way, it won't let me because of those little parameters I have keeping it from uh, where is it at? Oh, here they are, here's the parameters keeping it from going below 1 and above 6 it's very very simple and the code you know has four libraries here SPI.h, wire.h, Adafruit GFX.h, Adafruit SSD 1306.h and like I said if you don't have them you know, email me and I'll be happy to, you know, send them to you. And then uh, the these libraries are super easy to use. Uh, they have these uh, functions, display functions, clear display, it clears the whole screen. Text size, it um, allows you to determine how big of the text you want. So like, you 2 is like 10 um, pixels high, 1 is like 5 pixels high, so how small you want it to be. You could go up to 3, 4, 5. Um, let's see, set color, you can do white or you can do black for the text. Um, I'm not sure exactly how that works, but uh, set cursors, where on the screen do you want to display the text? I want it to be at the very, very top, at zero, zero position. So where's my zero, zero position is here, so we'll start here, and it will display the text 
going this way at the zero zero position. And then your actual text is uh, right here, so you'd enter your actual text. And then you you cannot forget this line here, display display. Uh, whenever you whenever this line gets executed, whatever is above it will be displayed. So meanwhile, the Arduino is processing this and storing it, and when it, when it hits to this line, it executes all of this. And you delay for 50 milliseconds, and then it loops it back up or whatever. But if you have any questions, you know, let me know. It's a pretty cool little circuit. Thank you so much.